Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this pencil hugger inspired by the upcoming Disney movie Maleficent. To make your very own Maleficent pencil hugger, you will need 74 black rubber bands unless you're planning to change her outfit from the usual. You'll need 29 in the color you want her skin to be. Now Maleficent is always very pale. So you can either use the lightest color from the Mixed Skin Tone Pack from Rainbow Loom or even the white or Glow in the Dark bands, which is what I used here is the Glow bands. Looks really cool. And you'll need two in the color that you want her eyes to be and one for the color of her mouth. And we're going to begin by constructing the extra pieces for the collar that goes to her neck and her horns. And then we need a little bit of extra length for the bottom, so we'll do that as well to start. With your loom set up in the staggered configuration, starting on the side where the arrow is, you're going to take two rubber bands at a time to construct the horn for the thicker part at the base. So you put two in that first position and then two in the second position and another two in the third position but then when you get to this spot you're going to take a single rubber band and you're going to wrap it around the next two pegs twice this is going to help it get that really cool tapered shape at the top that's one rubber band wrapped around those two pegs twice. And you'll do that again for the next position. One rubber band, twist and fold it over so that it goes around those two pegs twice. It's a little tricky to do, might take you a few tries, but you'll get it. And then at the very tip, you want to put one rubber band, a rubber band, oh my goodness, I can't talk around four times if you can. I'm using Rainbow Loom brand black, so four goes around. You might be using a different brand. Just adjust to make it a pretty tight tension so that you will have a very neat tip to the horns at the top of her head. Then we're going to repeat that again for the other side. I'm gonna put those right here. So two at a time for the first three positions. And then switching after you've done those three to one rubber band that you put around twice. So you can do it this way if you find that easier. That's one rubber band wrapped around twice. You can either wrap it around the pegs like I did the first time or stretch in your hands to double it over and then pull both to place over your pegs. Whatever way you want, as long as it gets around those two pegs twice. And then put your rubber band here, again, four times. If you can, and if you can't, then just do as many as you can. And then for the collar of her dress, you'll want two rubber bands in that first position and then a single rubber band doubled over for the next, and then one rubber band wrapped around four times for the very tip. And repeating that again for the other side of the collar. So your two bands and then your one wrapped around twice for the next position. And then the tip, one band wrapped around four times. So that's your collars and your horns. And now we just need 
a simple extension for the bottom of her legs. And that is just two bands going forward and then a single band wrapped around only three times. Even if you can, you don't want to do four here because you're going to need to get this cap band opened up again to stretch over her shoulders. So we need one for each side, so we're just going to repeat two bands and then one band wrapped around three times. And then we're ready to begin hooking these so that we can get our loom set aside for the construction of her body. Now, if you happen to have a metal hook, I'd suggest using it for this project. Where we have those single bands wrapped around twice with that four times cap band, it's really tight. Uh, if you don't have a metal hook, just be really careful. Keep your finger behind the hook to support it. So we're going to reach in behind the cap and pull all of these forward. So this is where it's really tense. But if you're using a plastic hook and you keep your finger behind it like this is, that will help support it, make it less likely to snap. I have broken a lot of plastic hooks in my time though, so be careful. Oops, this one came off. Let's get that back around. I don't want them twisted I'm just taking them both off so that I can straighten them and then stretching to put over there we go and now the horns the other horn and we can take these all off now because we're going to need the loom for the rest of the pencil hugger you'll want to slide your hook in to the thicker part Put your finger over it and pop those pieces off. Doing the horns first. And if you see one is sort of pulled out more than the others, you can give a little tug to get them more even. Then we're taking off the tips of the collar. And finally, the two extensions for the legs. So those should all be on your hook now. And you can set these aside until we've placed the rest of our bands. So once again, starting where the arrow is, taking a single rubber band in the center going forward. Then we're going to take two at a time from the center to the side and two again from the center to the other side. Then we're going to do two at a time on each of those three rows for the top of her head. Then switching to the side of her face, taking 
two of the color that you're planning to use for her skin and another two in the center we're going to do two at a time for three positions because the center going to her chin is a little bit longer than the sides of her face. And then two more pairs going on the opposite side of her face. Like that. And now for the bottom of her jaw, you need two going from the outside to the center. And slide those down. And two more from the other side to the center. And two going down the next two pegs for her neck. And then switching to black for her collar from the center to the side and the center to the other side like that and now two black here two more in the skin tone to represent her neck and then two more in the black for this side and then for her dress, we're going to do pairs of black on each three. So there's two and another two and two more. And now two black going from the center to the side and two black from the center to the side like that for the bottom of her body and now we can start creating her arms and legs we're going to do pairs of black for the first three positions and here you can make a choice if you want it to look like mine did, changing the color for hands here, this is the spot where you'd do that. Taking two in the skin tone. If you want, you can keep those black to match, just whichever way you prefer. There's no right or wrong. And here's the same on that side. So three pairs of black bands followed by one pair in the skin tone. Now we need to place a triangle band across these three pegs in the middle of her body. And to start getting ready the features of her face, picking what color you want her eyes to be, and then coming up to the center of her face and wrapping that color around the peg three times. And the same on the other side. For her eyes and then for her mouth, we're going to put a red band right around this peg Mouth is optional. If you don't like it, you can leave it off. Personally, I think Maleficent's evil smile is one of her best features. I'm putting it on. And then you put a triangle band around her face on the bottom, the center, and the forehead. There we go. We're done with the chart. 
and we're ready to attach the pieces that are waiting for us on the hook. So the first two are these little ones. They go at the bottom of her leg. So stretch that out to open it up and put it around all of those And the other side, the same way. Get that peg in the middle of all those bands. Just like that. And then her collar. And the collar on this side at the top of her shoulder. And then coming back up to the top of the head for the two horns. There's one and the other. There you go. And then working from the bottom up to the top, we're going to put your hook in here to catch the two bands going forward. And we'll do the other leg as well. And then coming from here to the center and from here getting those just those top two bands that go to the center and then back in for two that go forward and in the center as well, two that go forward, and on this side. And now we're going to release the legs, keeping your thumb here so that it doesn't separate entirely, and reaching into that cap band that's at the very tip and putting that over the same spot as we put that collar piece and repeating on the other side putting a thumb here to stop it from popping up when we get here and then grabbing your cap band and stretching it open and putting that right over the shoulder where the collar was placed. So take a second here just to make sure that you have everything in the right place. Your two arms, if you pull them apart, it should look like this underneath. And we're now going to get the bands that come from this position going up to the shoulder. Sometimes it's easier to see from the side. It's these bands right here that we're going to want to catch. Like that. And then the two that go to the center like that. And the same on this side, looking for these two bands. 
bringing them up to the shoulder and then going into the shoulder to get the two bands that go to the center. Now from the center we want to build her neck. So we're going to catch those and bring them forward and go in again to get the next two that go forward. If you see I only got one, no problem. I'll just go back now to get the other one. When there's so many to work with, it's sometimes better to just get one at a time. So now coming to her chin, you're going to take the two bands that are on the top going this way. And then the next two bands in the stack go up here. And now before we move the next two forward, you want to make sure your triangle band is low. So I'm bringing that below with the mouthpiece. And then we're going to just push the mouthpiece a little bit down so that we can get these two bands on top of them. So it's a little bit of room on my peg here. So now I'm bringing these two bands forward above those red pieces. And then I'm going to catch the red underneath and bring it up and over the peg. I've gotten two of the three bands on my first try. I'm now going to go back to get that third one up and over the peg so that now all three of those loops are wrapped around. Then we're going to do the same with the eyes, bringing these bands up and over the peg onto the triangle band. And on this side too. Good. Now your eyes and mouth are in place. And we can come back to the bottom and work our way up the side. Don't want that popping off. So coming in here, making sure you're pulling back the triangle band that has the eyes on it to catch just those two rubber bands that are meant to go forward. And then finally bringing these two black ones for the top of her head right up to where you put that horn on. Then we can do the center. So starting right where the mouth is, put your hook above the mouth to push it down and catch the two bands that are in here that go up in between the eyes. And then two more going forward for the top of her head. And then the two black ones for her hat or hair. I guess it's a hat, isn't it? And then coming back to this side of her chin, coming in and going forward and in, forward, and one more time. And now we just need to do the very top of her head. So coming in here to catch those two bands that go to the center. And on this side, two bands that go to the center. And now reach in, catch that one band all the way at the bottom that's going to hold this all together. Walk it around the peg. Take both sides of the band onto your hook. Slide this side of the band into the center of the other side. Like that. And tug it and you'll create a little knot. You don't want to pull too hard on this one band though or it will snap off and you'll get very mad. 
Um, so now we can take all of these bands off the peg and once they're off you can tug that band again to make the knot a little bit tighter if you need to. And then you can start removing the rest of her face. Hello, here I am. Before you pull too hard on her neck, since there's so many bands there, it's a good idea to use your hook to take those off. And the same with her shoulders because of the collar that we put on there. And then you can tug the rest off. And there she is. You'll want to give a tug to the points of her collar so that they are prominent to the sides. You want to take this loop and just put it around one of the horns twice so that it's hidden away. And then you can fuss a little to get the horns the exact shape you want them to be. And then it is ready to be put on a pencil or on your hook or on your chapstick or wherever it else you would want to have your pencil hugger. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up below and write in the comments whether or not you've gone to see Maleficent already or if you're planning to see it and whether or not you liked the movie. I'd also love if you wrote any suggestions you have for additional pencil huggers, charms, or other designs you'd like to see me make. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already so that we can do a project again another day. Thanks for watching and happy looming!